Greetings lords and ladies, Kaiser here and welcome to another episode of our Mountain Blade Gekko Kujo Daimyo Edition Let's Play. Now then, as you can see, I managed to get our lords away from Nakamura Castle all the way over here to Hakata. Now, currently we are still not at war with the Ryuzoji, but I believe the Ryuzoji that... Uh, the Ryuzoji has recently suffered provocation by subjects of the Otsugawa Shogunate, and there is a risk of war. But of course, I'm pretty sure that the Ryuzoji will not be declaring war on us, simply because the Ryuzoji are at war with the Shimazu clan. The Shimazu clan declared war to regain lost territory. The Ryuzoji clan has had the upper hand in the fighting. Which means that the Ryuzoji have done our job in um, weakening the Shimazu a little bit. Well, we're about to weaken and destroy the Ryuzoji as quickly as possible. Uh, I did spend... <sighs> about an hour? Maybe two? Trying to get all of these lords over here. Namely, um, I realized that the lords essentially have, I believe I already explained this in a, like a couple of episodes ago, but the lords essentially have a 24 hour attention span. So after 24 hours, the lords simply leave. So what I did was I had the few lords that were with me, I contacted all of the lords that are on our list, except for of course Lord Musashi and Hyogonosuke, who we cannot get in contact with. Uh, and started walking with them towards Hakata. And when 24 hours went by, or rather when I saw that most of the lords at least started losing their focus and simply tried leaving us, I once again contacted them. And I did that, I think, about four or five times from Nakamura to Hakata to finally get to here. And uh, I contacted all of them literally as I made this save slash load. So all of them should stay around us for at least the next 24 hours. Uh, and of course, once the uh, 24 hours are over and they start running away again, uh, we will contact them once again. I decided to do this simply in order to try and get as many lords, including the lords that haven't really been part of our campaigns, to come and join us because even if 24 hours go by and the lords start going their separate ways if i contact it, uh, if i contact all of them then eventually even the lords that were located like i don't know somewhere around uh hamamatsu or something or um where did we put some of our lords where the castle i believe belongs to one of our lords yeah there he is um etc etc like even those lords should eventually Manage to find their way here. Speaking of which, wait, that who is in Ueda Castle? I don't see that banner with us. Uh, Ida Ueda. Ueda Castle. Whose banner is that? Locations. Ueda, 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 Ueda. Ueda Castle. Lord Akahoshi. Yeah, I've definitely been contacting him to come and join us. But as you can see, he is not here just yet. Hopefully he's somewhere on his way. At any rate, uh, we will be... Let me just check real quick. I did pick up a few more um, G Samurai. Alright, so... Camp. Talk to Lords. No, not Lords or Lady, sorry. Uh, minister. Um, affairs of State. I wish to... Dispatch an emissary to the Ryuzoji, then I declare war upon him. If you attack without provocation, some of your vassals may consider you to be too warlike. Is that what you want? Now, I will point out that within the last time, um, I don't know if it was the last episode or maybe two episodes ago, but um, the ticker did proc, aka the um the policies that we have procced and actually increased the relation that we have with all of our lords not to mention with me contacting these lords constantly telling them to come with us and fighting alongside them etc that actually also increased our relation so even if they go into a negative three i believe is if you declare war without a provocation um i believe 
that they will still be in the positive with us. At any rate, we will declare war. Uh, oh, it's minus two. Okay, so as you can see, all of them are in a positive. The lowest are Lord Nakahara and Lord Tataoka. Everybody else is above ten. So, uh, yeah, as you command, we are now at war with the Ryuzoji clan. May the heavens grant us victory. I gave her a little bit too much of a manly voice, I believe, there. <laughs> at any rate, uh, yeah, Otogawa Shogun has declared war against the Ryuzoji. And, of course, they don't have any allies. It's basically just Ryuzoji, Ka um, Shimazu, and... Otogawa. Um, can I just check the map one last time before we go to war? I'm just curious what it looks like. Ugh, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that shade of red. Hmm. Alright, so uh, there are no, <laughs> no more snippets or anything like that, so that's awesome. Uh, I think that this episode will be taking Hakata and probably... What castle is that? It's not Yanagawa, is it? It is Yanagawa Castle. Okay, yeah. Uh, we are going to be taking Hakata and Yanagawa, most likely. We'll see how fast this goes. Uh, it should go quite fast, simply because... Um, uh, battered on the gates and stormed the castle. Six hours. I mean, it is afternoon, so we might have to wait until morning. But let's keep in mind that um, Hakata is the curse layout. So, it's not gonna be that easy. What is this? Ito Clan offers you a sum. Yeah, I mean, sure, you can offer me money for lords that you're not gonna be able to command anyway. Um, we're gonna say wait until tomorrow, just so that it's early morning, or rather, morning. Oh, hey! Another lord arrived! Lovely! Alright, I think that um, we will not be leading our soldiers in an assault, but we will order our soldiers to attack. Uh, so, let's see. Did any of our... Okay, so a lot of our units got injured, but none of our um, companions got injured, which is good. 63 on the enemy side. We'll do that one more time. 31 on our side, 62 on their side. Wait, that's 100. There, there's still 100 units in there. Let's do it. Uno mas. Uno mas. Okay, 21 versus 61. Uh, that means that there are about 40 units in there. I think we can take 40 units. Like, it just still feels weird to just command our units to go in without us. And I, uh, quite honestly, would like to take the castle. Uh, sorry, the town. By actually sieging it. Yeah, I'm having I'm having a little bit of difficulty, or rather, a little bit of problems with the FPS, it seems. Um... 38 enemies still remain in there. Lovely. Oh. Yeah, they're still gonna be posing a little bit of a challenge for us. I'm just... Oh, right. I'm... Um, yeah, I'm... Um, <laughs> I was very, very... Um... Exposed over there. How are you, all of you? All of you are faster than me. How? We're supposed to be strong. Okay, so let's get a few shots off. Got his toe, but apparently it hurt him enough to die. There's another one. Did I just... Ecomon Gunner, I killed one of our own guys. Straight into the head. I am sorry about that. And that's a Gunner, like, that's a useful unit. That was to the abdomen. That's another one. Well, at least, at least, I will say this much, at least this part is not bugged, like, you can actually shoot through the, uh, barricade. Okay, so we're gonna rush in here, and then open the gates from this side for those guys, because they're not hitting the gates. I know they're not, because there's nobody on the other side of the gate. I'm more than sure about it. Yeah, as you can see, and they're just standing there letting themselves get shot. All right. Luckily enough, our uh, sieging, or shall we say, just rushing in, made it so that the enemy doesn't have like a, a hundred, or rather, okay, not a hundred, but like thirty or forty archers shooting at our guys that are just standing in front of this gates. There we go. Let's get in, guys. Uh, okay, five more enemies. Okay, I mean, maybe I, we should have gone in when the ones before. Or rather, before the last Sally, not Sally A fourth, but um, before the last rush in. You're kidding me, like, eh. yeah. See, see what I mean. <laughs> We're aiming straight for his head. The arrows are right there. 
they're not in the wood. <laughs> and they didn't hit him. Alright, two more. One's in there. I'm gonna get that one. Hopefully it's the last one. I want the last kill. I want the last kill. Yeah. And I'm gonna shoot him. Just to make a point. Since the Yuzoji are master archers. Uh, wait, which direction is he in? Ah. Uno mas. There we go. Alright, so, we won Hakata. We will take the woman. Uh, right. There's nothing but lords in our hold right now. Which, in and of itself, is quite lovely. Um, let's go 2-2. Two, two. Did we get anything good? Nothing whatsoever. Alright, uh, let's just reshuffle our food a bit. Leave the items. There we go. I wish to... No, 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 no. Uh, I want Hakata for myself. Uh, to be fair... Hakata is now defenseless. Simply... Uh, can we go to, like, Fukuoka? Traveling to Kanonjika. Has it already been 24 hours? We'll take these guys. Lord Kakeda. Damn you. Uh, recruit volunteers here. Manage the garrison and just put these guys in here. So, any and all lords will be coming to attack Hakata. So, we have to send out some uh, recruiters. Let's say that we. Let's head to Hakata Castle. Uh, get a recruiter, Lady Chica, you're free to go. Goodbye. I did not mean to punch you. Okay, um, recruits, I want to recruit new soldiers, I want Mori soldiers, go and get 50 of them. And we'll do that four times, so the maximum allowed for a town. Uh, Mori 50, yes. Recruits, train new soldiers, Mori 50, yes. Go and get them. Alright, so hopefully we'll be close enough to Hakata to make sure that um, nothing too unusual happens. We've not even yet met the Guildmaster. Ah, we won't bother with that right now. Well, I think it's about time that I contact all of the Lords once again, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I've not yet contacted all of the Lords, but here's something that happened. For whatever reason, Lord Kakeda decided that it would be a wondrous idea to go and charge into Lord Inaba's party. Now, I'm sure that he was counting on all of the other Lords to come and back him up, but um, he was much quicker than us uh, in getting to him. Now, Lord Inaba seems like he is one of the probably many Lords that has a full... Uh, full army. Oh, wait, you... Who are you? Lord Narita. You brought 300 additional units. I love you, man. Okay, so you have 41, you have 73, you have 45, and all of you are traveling straight to Yanagawa Castle. Okay, so Yanagawa Castle is definitely going to be a little bit of a harder nut to crack, but right now we're gonna go in and help Lord Kakeda to take on this formidable enemy. Uh, I don't quite like this map. Let's see if we get a better one. Seriously, can we have the up with the high ground? No. I they. Let's just try and get the high ground. Maybe. Like, how far are they? Relatively far. There they are. Oh god, no, 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 no. Good god, these maps are horrible! Is this seriously the best we we can do? Wait, the map ends over there, so... I mean, they'll be coming towards us, but I don't know if our guys can even reach that. Archers, try. Try, we'll see what happens. 
Like, I'm not sure where the uh, map officially ends, so, yeah, you see, like, even though I'm telling to go up there, they can't go any more back than the... Oh, wait, they can, what? Wait, who are you? Kakeda, and you're an infantry unit, alright. Um, apparently Lord Kakeda does not have many ranged units. If he did... We would not have only this small number. Yay! We got a shinobi! <laughs> Guys, uh... Fi no, not fired Will, that's not what I wanted to say. Fired my command. Let's wait for them to actually come into vision. Ready? Fire. There we go, that's more like it. Uh, you guys, spread out a bit. No need to get shot. You guys spread out as well. Archers, you know what? Just everybody spread out. Get their cavalry first, possibly. I'm not hitting anything. Not even the horses. Aim higher, maybe? I mean, we did damage to the horse. Aha! Uh -huh. Fight. Okay, cavalry to the side. Go, 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 go. And charge in. Um, right, where did we end with the history last time? I believe we began with, um... With... The Civil War in the Uesugi lands, or rather began and more or less ended it as well. Uh, so essentially, as I mentioned, Nobunaga uh, used this opportunity, so the opportunity of the Uesugi being divided, uh, to take Uesugi lands in Kaga and uh, Noto provinces. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. Come back now. Uh, once Kagekatsu took full control of the clan, he attempted to curb the Oda advance and led his forces into Echu, where he was defeated at the Battle of Tenjinyama. Uh... Prefer these guys not getting to our archers. Get him. Please get him. I'll get him then. There. Okay. Infantry come back. Don't worry about this one guy, I'll handle him. See, I I I'm totally handling him. There we go. Are you still in the battle, or... No. Okay. Fire. You see, if we had more firepower, this battle would be so much easier. Are those guys... Yeah, those guys are the... Or, I mean, uh, spearmen. So we're gonna command you guys over there. Cavalry to this side. Let's go. Let's mess with them a bit. Attack. Now. Go. Go, go, go. Many of you actually got dismounted for whatever reason. Alright. Um. So yeah, he was defeated at Tenjin Yama. What's more, he got news that Mori Nagayoshi, one of Oda's generals, was raiding Echigo. He quickly returned to Echigo. In the meantime, the Oda forces had taken uh, Uzu Castle in Echu, in the process of which many important Uesugi retainers also lost their lives. Now, things were looking very, very bleak for the new daimyo. However, Nobunaga's luck ran out when he was betrayed by Akechi Mitsuhide and killed in a coup. This gave the Uesugi... A bit of a reprieve. 
Kagekatsu decided to make friendly overtures to Hashiba Hideyoshi. He aligned himself with the Hideyoshi in the following Shizu Gatake campaign. Now, we did talk about this campaign uh, in the Hideyoshi history. Let's do it like this. Both infantry and cavalry come back. Uh, like I said, I went into more detail of this campaign in the Oda and Toyotomi history, but in general, this was a campaign between Hashiba Hideyoshi and Shibata Katsuye to see who gets control over the quite vast, by this point, Oda lands. Uh, Kagekatsu attacked Katsuye's northern outpost during this campaign. What's more, he supported him in the Komaki campaign, which was the conflict between Hideyoshi and Tokugawa. Uh, so Hideyoshi Toyotomi and Tokugawa Ieyasu. Uh, Hideyoshi considered Kagekatsu a valuable ally to the East and rewarded him a few times. Do we even have, like, what do we have? Two, three, four mounted units. Awesome. But at least that'll cause a little bit of panic in their archer line. Um, so yeah, the largest reward came after the Odawara campaign, where Hideyoshi crushed the Hojo resistance. Now, while the Yusugi did have to move thieves to Aizu, this was much, much more land. The worth of the Yusugi holdings almost doubled with that. And this all happened in 1589. The same year, he was named as one of the Gotairo, or rather, the Five Regents, charged with protecting Hideyoshi's heir until he was old enough to take over. After Hideyoshi's death in 1598, Kagatsu almost immediately became hostile towards Tokugawa Ieyasu, another member of the Gotairo. Okay, so we're just chasing everybody else off the map. Ah, uh, the map is quite large though, so it's gonna be taking a little while. Alright, so there we go. We lost a total of 15 units, three of which were killed. That was one Nobody Bearer and two Wesugi Hatamoto Guards. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be running out of those very soon. 137 enemies killed, lovely. Uh, we already have the upper hand, of course. Um, this is the battlefield with, like, the uh, cliff in between, right? God, I wish, I wish so, so much that we were on a different battlefield, but we're not! We're not, we're still on the same one. More or less forced to be on the same one, because this is the only good one. Or rather, uh, how should we put this? The lesser of the three evils. Maybe, can we have our cavalry, like, all the way on top? Our infantry, or, or rather, archers over there, infantry over here. And archers, I would like you to fire at my command, so that you don't use up all of your ammo on the first guy that comes over the hill. Uh, cavalry? No, 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 wait, uh, that's archers. My bad. Cavalry, higher. I said higher. I guess that's as high as you can go, huh? Okay, in that case, uh, just go to the side. Like, I wanted to have all of our units in a line so that the enemy wouldn't be, uh... Wouldn't be moving their skirmishers and their spearmen accordingly. Because the AI is actually smart enough to send, uh, spearmen towards cavalry while it sends... Um, archers onto the side of the infantry, which are much slower. Alright, so, fire orders, fire will. There we go. That's what we like to see. From the looks of it, the enemy no longer has any cavalry. All they really have is uh, low-level Ashigaru. Yeah. And uh, villagers. Lord Inaba, Lord Inaba, like, I can't recall Lord Inaba. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I'm probably gonna be finishing, well, not probably, but I am gonna be finishing. Uh, 
Oh, and by the way, I'm probably going to be finishing the Usugi history in this episode, so I was just wondering, which clan would you guys like me to cover next? I was thinking about maybe the Ryuzoji clan, like we've done the Shimazu, uh, we have now done the Oda, Tokugawa, Hideyoshi, Mori, uh, Miyoshi, uh, Takeda... Uesugi. So I was just wondering, like, considering the fact that we are currently at war with the Ryuzoji, that maybe the Ryuzoji clan? What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Alright, see, this is what I mean about having more firepower. Like, the enemy doesn't even get to us, and they're already dead. Alright, so, back to the history. Like I said, uh, after Hideyoshi's death in 1598, Kagakatsu almost immediately became hostile towards Tokugawa Ieyasu. Uh, he sided with Ishida Mitsunari in the following campaign, the campaign to set the path for the final shogunate, aka the Sekigahara campaign. One could say that the official beginning of the campaign was actually sparked by Kagekatsu himself. You see, he had begun construction of a castle in Aizu, which alerted Ieyasu, who ordered Kagekatsu to come to Osaka and explain his actions. Now, Kagekatsu refused to comply, and this got Ieyasu to prepare a force of 50,000 units to march north. The hope of Ishida and, Uis and the Uesugi was that the Uesugi force would bog down the Tokugawa army and occupy them well enough and long enough that it would distract Ieyasu from Mitsunari's attacks in Osaka, or rather around Osaka. However, Ieyasu... We, nobody can deny this. Ieyasu was a very smart man, and he realized uh, this and stayed at Osaka to engage Mitsunari. Meanwhile, two of Tokugawa's backers in the north, the Date under Date Masamune and the Mogami under Mogami Yoshiaki, engaged in battles with the Uesugi. The Uesugi were defeated at the Siege of Shiroishi, and the war in the north continued with Naoe Kanetsugu sieging Hataya and then Hasedo Hassle, Castle. Good God, so many H's that I just <laughs> derped there a little bit. So yeah, Hataya Castle and Hasedo Castle. Now, shortly after a failed siege of Hasedo, Nao received news of Ishida Mitsunari, uh, Mitsunari's defeat of, at Sekigahara and ordered a full retreat. Uh, okay, so that's the last wave of enemy units. Let's just command our guys to fire at our command. So yeah, refill. Though many of our guys apparently already ran out of ammo, considering they have their matchlocks on their backs. Is it seriously just... Okay, now it really is almost only villagers. That's sad. Seriously, one of you hit. <laughs> one! At any rate, charge. Pretty sure this is their last wave. And we'll have to do one more battle. So yeah, I guess in this episode we will have taken Hakata and defeated a relatively large Ryuzoji army. I mean, to be fair, his initial army was relatively strong. It's just that he didn't have that many um, of his friends around to back him up with even more of those elite units, especially elite archers. Like These battles, especially with the Ryuzoji having the high ground, like just imagine what their archers could do to our units. Let's not forget that our units, like, no unit in this uh, in this mod has shields. And we don't even have those, uh, like, uh, I forget what they're called, but like those wool wooden shields that aren't really shields, but like, uh, those wooden blockades that basically were meant to defend the army 
from uh, incoming missile attacks. But yeah, those are not available. Those, I believe, I, I think we saw we, which castle we were taking. Not, I think it was in Nakamura Castle that they actually had those blockades uh, outside the... Uh, outside the castle walls. You know what? Let's just get our units up here. Maybe, just maybe, we can actually do something over here. Nah, I don't think so. Like, the ridiculous and really stupid part is, is that this is like straight, right in the middle of the map. So, any units wanting to go up or down this will just get bogged down. Still, archers over there, infantry go in, cavalry go in. Let's just finish them off, pretty sure this is their last, this is the last fight we'll have in this round of, um, rather in this battle. Last fight in the battle, yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to get rid of the uh, command commands on the side. There we are. Yeah, this is just a quick cleanup now. That's a G Samurai, right? Yeah. Wait, these are Saito units. Huh. God, I, I wish we could actually find some more Saito uh, prisoners, but I'm pretty sure that we won't be finding them anywhere anymore. So, uh... Rip Saito Hatamoto guards and rip uh, Uesugi Hatamoto guards, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, so our skirmishers are just... shooting these guys down before they even get to the cliff. Alright, well, with his side defeated, Kagekatsu swore allegiance to the Tokugawa, becoming a Tozama Lord, aka an Outsider Lord. Now, I don't know if I explained this in the Tokugawa, um, in the Tokugawa history, but he essentially divided lords into, uh, groups, uh that were selected, or rather not selected, but um, set according to where you were prior to the Sekigahara campaign. Now, if you were on the enemy side, uh, you were one group. If you were on the side that was always following Tokugawa, so from the beginning, you were an inside lord. Uh, I'll try and check and remember by next episode, though. But yeah, uh, the Uesugi became Tozama Lords. Alright, well, you arrived just in time. Yeah, well, Lord Inaba, enough. You win today, you dog. Ah, the shame of it. Well, you are my prisoner now. Uh, we're gonna be taking as many prisoners, really, as possible now that it's just the Shimazu and Ryuzoji left. Simply... Because the less lords that are on the map, the better for us. Because the less lords will be respawning in other castles. Alright, so that is it. Uh, I know I said that we would be taking Yanagawa Castle as well, but I do believe that this episode has gone on for long enough. Uh, and I really don't want to be making hour-long episodes. Like It takes way too long to render and simply makes it impossible for me to do more than one video per day. Um, which already with my uh, work schedule and everything is already a little bit hard doing a video every single day, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm sorry if I skip a day. I'm really sorry. At any rate, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. I will see you guys next time, and until then, if you enjoy what I do, as always, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, share these videos around, help this channel grow. We're almost at 1,000, guys, and I'm looking forward to, like, two years from now or something, looking back on this episode, saying we're almost at 1,000, and we'll be at a couple, hopefully, a couple thousand. <laughs> at any rate, I will see you next time, and until then, as always, ad gloriam.